the Frugal Chef. Hey, let's make a roasted tomato and roasted garlic pasta sauce today. This is so bold and, you know, deep and delicious and, and vegetarian. Uh, if you don't like vegetarian, go ahead and add some meat to this. But I tell you, this is really good stuff. Let's make it. So the first thing we're going to do for our uh, sauce is we're going to roast some tomatoes. You know, tomatoes here are generally this size. As you can see, I rinsed them. You're not going to really see big tomatoes. Um, you'll find them once in a while, but this is the common size. It's almost like a grape tomato. So you could use grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes or even small Roma for this, okay? We're also going to roast a whole head of garlic. I just took the tip off. I have an oven heating at 400 degrees and we're going to roast these for about 30 minutes. I have about 16 ounces, about a pound of, of these tomatoes here. So what we're going to do is just drizzle this with olive oil. I'm going to be really generous on the, on the garlic and then just drizzle the rest. Salt. A little bit extra salt on the garlic. I'm going to put a combination of thyme and fennel seeds on this, about a tablespoon. So now some pepper. I'm going to put some balsamic vinegar on this. And finally, some sugar, probably about a teaspoon. We're gonna put this in the oven, as I said, 30 minutes, maybe 35, we'll see. Once the tomatoes are all roasted and the garlic, it's ready. While our uh, tomatoes and garlic are roasting, I'm gonna start cooking some onion. I have two tablespoons of olive oil in there and it's really hot by now. I'm going to cook this onion until it starts browning and it gets, you know, softened and translucent. Even though we're going to add that whole head of roasted garlic, I'm going to add uh, four garlic cloves to this, which I minced. I'm going to cook that for a couple minutes till we can smell the garlic. So I added a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes. I chopped the tomatoes. I'm going to add the liquid. We're not gonna let these tomatoes just stew for a little bit. Okay, so these have been, you know, stewing for about 10 minutes. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of crushed oregano. We're gonna mix this. I'm not going to season this yet with salt and pepper until I taste it after I add our tomatoes uh, and our garlic, okay? Because we put salt on that. Look at these tomatoes. Don't they look beautiful? And there's a ton of juice in there. So now I'm just going to add all this to our uh, skillet. I'm going to remove the garlic and I'll show you, we'll, we're going to just squeeze the garlic out of this. Now we're just going to squeeze the, the garlic out of the peel here. I'm grabbing this with a paper napkin because it's hot. I'm just going to uh, mash this. Oh, you know, this is going to give your sauce such an amazing oomph to it. Ugh, it makes all the difference in the world. Now let's put it into our skillet. Look at this. Yum. I just want to mix everything in. We're going to let it simmer for about 10 more minutes. Taste it now for salt. See if you, you know, adjust it to, to, to taste. Mm. The flavors in this sauce are so bold and deep. It's just really good. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. Our sauce is ready, guys. It is just amazing. I wish you could smell this. Last thing I'm going to do is add about a tablespoon of freshly uh, chopped basil. I'm going to mix this with penne pasta, which I cooked um, already. 
but you can use this on any any kind of pasta you want and here it is doesn't that look ravishingly delicious <laughs> okay we're gonna plate this this is really good stuff I hope you give it a try we will taste it now this recipe of course will be on the website waiting for you guys to come and print it uh, be well without going broke my friends I'm gonna see you soon so let's give this a try with some of those tomatoes oh, yeah Mmm. Mm. I promise you, this is worth the extra work. It is absolutely fantastic. I really do hope you give this a try.